really talk about the biracial relationship mm -hmm. because you struggled with it. Mm -hmm. We never regarded ourselves as a interracial couple. That's what the world told us we were. But so Antoinette, you, you married the man. Yes. You knew he was a white man when you married him. Oh, I knew he was a white man when I married so him. So clearly, if y'all both yeah. wanted children, your children were going to be biracial. We certainly had um, these conversations up front. I didn't go into this blindly or haphazardly. One viewer said Antoinette, mm -hmm. biracial children anywhere would have to choose how they identify, and the world would choose for them. Yeah. Black. I know. But, oh my goodness, the world would make them predominantly black, you know, and they have this white dad at home. You know, I didn't want to be dismissive of, of him. You but know? you know, there are generations of families <laughs> that have that, gotten through it successfully. It's that and... one drop rule situation. Okay. The world attacks, the world attacks, the world makes you <laughs> tough, it hardens you. Um, and so wanting them not to experience some of the things that I experienced growing up, some of the things that I experienced throughout this entire process, um, Take a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Knowing that I was going to be a future mother, I wanted to consider everything, you know? Um, they wouldn't just be part their dad and part their, well, part their mom. They'd, there'd be parts of them that we wouldn't understand as individuals. And so wanting perhaps my control issues, but wanting to control that such that they were protected. Another said, so why start your business in such a racist place? Starting a business is like birthing a baby. Why a business if not a baby? <laughs> mm, I think business is much easier than babies, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's another comment. Antoinette, is it really over between you and your ex? Are you still in love with him? Oh, I still have an incredible amount of respect for that man. Um, but I don't think that... <laughs> Love is the question here. Okay. No regrets. <laughs> no regrets. What about Ganabu? Ganabu was a fun date. Ganabu helped me to get some of that confidence back. You got to shake off some of that insecurity after you have like an uncoupling situation. And so, uh, more than anything, it was getting my feet wet and let me know that, like, hey, maybe I still have this stuff. And so, I think I am ready to date now, you know? For all the men who may have wanted to shoot the shot mm -hmm. <laughs> with Antoinette, what, what is your type then? Oh my goodness, I like them fine. I like them athletic, I like them funny. I want them to be able to like turn up to hood music and go to brunch, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so um, that does not dictate a race. How old are you, by the way? <laughs> well, I'm gonna be 30 until I'm 35. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer, girl. That is a good answer. <laughs>